I don't know about you guys, but it looks like he's about to get decapitated in this screenshot. I, it must suck to be the one in the squad designated to be, it's like, hey, hey, Johnny, go over there and uh, strap C4 to your motorbike and go blow up that helicopter. And he's like, oh, okay, that sounds like a great idea. Um, but, you know, you know, it's a video game. We can't, we can't get caught up in the real life. But, yeah, what's going on, guys? In the works. And uh, this is an official in-game screenshot. And if you don't know, they did release the teaser trailer today on Battle Log. So if you're a premium member, you can go over there and watch it. Unfortunately, I cannot upload that trailer. Um, I will get in troubles for it, but I'm sure there's a lot of people who have already uploaded it, so I'm sure you could find it somewhere if you're not premium. And it was pretty doggone cool. We got a most of it was just showing off the motorbike. One thing I did notice right off the bat, though, is it looks like we're going back to the old character skins, the original character skins, which I guess that makes sense because since the Aftermath ones were kind of, you know, torn up, they look like they had been through hell and back. So it makes sense that they uh, kind of allocate that for Aftermath only. Uh, would have been nice to see some in-game only skins, but I guess that would be a lot of work considering that uh, you have to change a lot of things to get that to work properly. But... Um, you know, after we made the video yesterday, talking a little bit about some of the rumors surrounding Endgame, you know, the possibility of some jungle maps, um, the possibility of a new game mode, some new weapons and stuff like that, it seems like DICE was just like, hey Jake, I'm going to troll you and go ahead and release some new info as soon as you put that video up. And they basically outlined that this is going to have Capture the Flag in Endgame. And I'm like, what? Capture the Flag? And if you don't know, that was actually in some of the older Battlefields like 1942. Um, I think Battlefield Modern Combat actually had Capture the Flag as well. So it's not a new game mode to Battlefield. But it'll be cool to see it in Battlefield 3. And I'm actually kind of curious how it'll play out. Um, DICE has a pretty bad track record for new game modes. I find Scavenger to be fun. But not something I really always want to play. The same with Tank Superiority. I don't really have anything against it. It's just boring. Um, I didn't really like that. And Gunmaster, it's gotten better. Um, they did evolve Gunmaster a little bit, so I can say it's gotten a little bit better. Um, but, you know, I just I just don't. Sometimes DICE just puts in a lot of game modes that I feel like are tacked on. And I'm really curious if Capture the Flag here is going to be one of those game modes. As you see them, they set it up nice and cinematically. Is that even a word? Um... Nice and uh, over the top, the flag carrier getting chased by a helicopter while a motorbike guy swings in to pick him up. So nice and dramatic, um, but it will be cool to kind of, you know, be the flag runner to try it out on the motorbikes. I can I can really see the motorbikes and like the quads if they put the quads in this. I don't know if they're going to keep those only in armor kill, but I can see those as well being very advantageous for a capture the flag. Uh, type scenario just because they do have good mo mobility they have good uh, maneuverability and th and they're quick they're quick and that's that's really what's important is having a little quick vehicle um, I don't know I, can you grab the flag and jump in a you know a jeep a tank a tank destroyer I, I'm actually kind of curious what um, kind of plays out in that scenario because I'm sure there's going to be limitations kind of like in Halo and Halo you had to get into like the warthog passenger seat if you wanted to carry the flag and um, I could see that being the case. You have to get into some sort of passenger seat with an open, uh, open area so that your flag is sticking out. Because I can't imagine it would be too fair if you grabbed the flag and jumped in an Amtrak, or you grabbed the flag and jumped into like an LAV or something like that. So I'm sure there will be limitations on it. But another thing I wanted to touch on while we've got, while I've got your attention, is that I've become very, very good at predicting future DLC things. If you don't remember, I was on the GameSpeak podcast and they were like, you know, what would be some cool weapons you'd like to see in Battlefield 3? And I was like, well, what about a crossbow? You know, it's in Call of Duty. It was in Battlefield 2. Wouldn't it be awesome to have some sort of crossbow type weapon in Battlefield 3? And then three days later, DICE announced that Aftermath is going to have a crossbow. So I was like, man, I must be a psychic. Well, it looks like I've done it again because in one of my question and answers, or somewhere along the line, I was asked a question, you know, what kind of vehicles would you like to see in Battlefield 3? And I was like, well, you know, it'd be really cool if they introduced some sort of transport air vehicle to some design, you know, an alternative to the Venom. And I was like, well, it would be really cool if they brought in some sort of like Osprey or something like that where you're not limited to just people. Maybe you could put like a small sort of vehicle on there. Well, it turns out that there's going to actually be a drop ship in Endgame. A drop ship. Yes, you heard me right, and you can actually put motorcycles in there and ride the motorcycles out, apparently. Now, I don't know if this is confirmed or not. I've read this all over the place. There seems to be a lot of mixed information about the dropship at the time. 
Um, it seems like it's going to be an Osprey. I, I don't know if that's for sure. We have not seen footage of it. I can imagine that would be the case, especially since it's a Marine vehicle and we're playing as the Marines in this game. So um, I'm actually kind of psyched about this. I think this will be a lot of fun. Uh, it'll make moving people from point A to point B a lot more logical. And I've been calling for this for a really, really long time. I've been saying for like... You know, the past four DLCs, hey, why don't we put a dropship in here? Why don't we put some sort of air transport vehicles? I mean, we've got the Amtrak. Why not put some sort of aerial transport? I mean, the Venom just doesn't work. I mean, honestly, people just aren't good enough helicopter pilots to make the Venom work. I mean, in good situations, though, the Venom can actually turn the tide of a game, especially if you can get behind him and use it as a spawn point. So I can only imagine having the ability to drop a motorcycle in behind someone can be very useful, especially in Capture the Flag. Could you imagine having to shoot down the Osprey uh, before it drops motorcycles full of people trying to steal your flag? Um, I could imagine that to be very, uh, very chaotic, and that might make that game mode a lot of fun. But... No news of the jungle maps or anything about dino mode or anything like that yet, so uh, let's keep our fingers crossed for that. The one map they did show off looked a lot like Caspian Border, so uh, who knows if we actually are going to get the jungle maps like the rumor has it. Um, you know, I, I would love to see those, don't get me wrong. Like I said, I was really skeptical when I was talking about the information. I was like, you know, I just... It doesn't seem like DICE has taken a ton of risk with these DLCs. They've been pretty... Uh, pretty safe for the most part so I just didn't really foresee them using jungle maps um, but let's let's hope that um, maybe a couple of the maps are jungle maps or maybe the, even a couple of the maps are like some city maps I know a lot of you guys said hey I'd like to see like a New York map or like some sort of urban map and I know a lot of the aftermath maps were urban but they were they were different urban you know I'm, I'm talking like tall buildings that you can get up in uh, kind of like that last level in the campaign, if you're familiar with what I'm talking about. So, a lot of information to digest. Go over there, you know, search for the premium trailer somewhere on YouTube, watch it on Battlelog. But let me know in the comments what you think about it, because I'm actually kind of curious if you thought it was a hit or you thought it was a complete miss. I personally was a tad underwhelmed. I thought for a teaser trailer, they could have done a little bit of a better job, but... Um, the motorcycles look cool. They look kind of gimmicky, though, so I'm really curious what you guys feel about them. But if you missed any of my other videos, here's a chance to catch up, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.